a lot of people when they come and talk to us about alkaline ionized water, they say, look, it's great, you can taste it, you can certainly taste it, it's better, and it sounds all good in terms of the testimonials and the health benefits that you get out of it. But quite often they say, you just can't see any difference. Like, it's not like it changes colour or it does something different, so how do I know it's actually different? And that's a fair enough question. So what I'd like to do today is just do a couple of simple tests, one on the pH of the water and the other on the ore, which is oxidation and reduction potential, to show visually to show the difference between tap water, um, and one of the most popular branded um, pure waters that's sold in supermarkets, and um, the water that comes out of the ultra stream. So uh, we've got three little glasses here, and um, this is the pH reagent, which basically when you add a couple of drops um, to it, it'll change the colour of the water. Then nothing special about this reagent. This is used in pool shops, and in pet shops with goldfish bowls as well, just to test the pH of the water. And that's what we use here as well. So what I'll do is we'll start off and the first, the first glass will be the ultra stream water. So I'll fill that up about half. The second glass will be tap water. So not filtered or anything, just straight tap water. And the third glass, I'm just going to grab this uh, uh, popular bottled water, or pure water that's sold in the supermarkets. Just before I forget to. There we go. Now, let's remember we've got the ultra stream water, we've got tap water, and we've got the pure water. Now they look all exactly the same. And you'd say, oh, well, what difference is there? So let's have a look and see what happens. So when we use the pH reagent, put a couple of drops in here. Don't need to be exact or anything. You can see straight away, change of colour. And we put it in the tap water. And then we put it in the pure water. Mix it up a little bit. Okay. So that's a deep blue for the ultra stream water. For the tap water, it's a green. And for the pure water, oh my god, look how look how orange that is. Okay. Now when we have a look at the chart that compares it, um, the four, which is the the pure water, is means a pH four. That is, um, 7 is neutral, 6 is, uh, is um, 10 times more acidic, 5 is 100 times more acidic, and 4 is 1,000 times more acidic. So that water, the pure water, is actually 1,000 times more acidic than this tap water, which you can see is the green. And the ultra stream water, somewhere between 9 and 10, is close to 1,000 times more alkaline than the tap water. So you can imagine what's happening if you're drinking this pure water or any of the sort of um, carbonated waters or that sort of thing, you're actually getting, it's like 10,000 times or 100,000 times, I can't even do the maths, more acidic than the ultra stream water. Every time you're drinking a glass of that and you wonder why you can't actually get yourself more alcohol, it's that acidic. So that's the first test, is just to show the pH. What's possibly more important, and not so many people do, is actually testing the orc of the water. Now, the orc of the water, as we said, is the oxidation reduction potential. Now, this little um, meter here, um, what it does is it shows a number. And when it's positive, the more positive it is, the more oxidising the, the liquid is. So if you think about when you put metal into water, it rusts quickly, it's oxidising, it's breaking it down. And that's the same for your body. If you're having oxidising water or oxidising material or oxidising stress, it's basically breaking it down and causing, um, causing damage within there. The opposite is when it's an antioxidant. Anti is the key word, oxidant. And what that's doing is actually it's neutralising the free radicals that are in your body. It's donating electrons to, um, to build your immunity and your health. So let's have a look at the pure water. Uh, remember, this is what's sold. You pay whatever it is um, in a supermarket. And it's about... You can see the number there, it's about 237 going up to about 240 millivolts is the measure. So that means it's an oxidising agent. 
So not only is it acidic, but it's also oxidising. Sure, it's pure, it's had contaminants taken out, but it's acidic and it's oxidising. Now let's have a look at tap water. Tap water, you can see straight away it's gone up and it's going to about 265, it may get up to about 270. So it's slightly more oxidising than, um, than the pure water. Finally, let's look at the ultra stream water. Straight away you see it dropping. It'll go down less than zero, and once it's less than zero, it's an antioxidant. You can see how fast it's dropping as well. So it's not just mildly antioxidant, it's actually strongly antioxidant. And the key antioxidant that's in there is molecular hydrogen. Not many people know about molecular hydrogen, but molecular hydrogen is a unique antioxidant. And the reason it's unique is for two reasons. One, as most people know, hydrogen is one of the smallest elements in the universe. So it's tiny, and what it can do is, unlike, I'd say, most if not all other antioxidants, it's so small, it easily passes into the cell, into the mitochondria, where, the, um, where it needs to be doing its work in terms of neutralising radicals. Now, the second big thing about this antioxidant is that it's, it's a selective antioxidant. In other words, it's, there are actually some good fruit, um, radicals that are in your body which help clean up messes and diseases that are going on. Uh, molecular hydrogen is selective in that it only goes for the bad free radicals, in particular a thing called a hydroxyl radical. And, um, and they're the things that cause um, basically breeding grounds for diseases and, um, and ill health. So there you have it. You've got three waters that looked exactly the same when you put them out of the tap or out of the um, cask, but when you put the meter in there and you do the pH, you can see it's totally different. It's restructured.